I'm telling you, this is... You're about to see one of the best days that I've ever had as a metal detectorist. We're at the point of the summer where it is hot. People are definitely getting into the water, and we are getting push in. We are the, the stuff that has been falling from people's hands and such is getting pushed up onto the beach due to wave action, which is due to wind. All right, so what I'm really noticing is that uh, jetties go one way or the other, and it can switch based on the direction of the water. But as you can see over here, there's sand, and over here, it's an opening. And uh, really, as we walk down this way, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna get sanded, and then it's gonna open. But what I see is a stripped down beach. Look at the change in color down there. I see some rocks on the surface, and I see some objects on the surface. And that tells me that uh, we're down uh, to a layer. You know, the sands have been shifting. So I think it's gonna be good. Uh, it's been good. So it's beach season. Uh, happy summertime, everybody. So here's an example of what I mean from a satellite image. You have the sanded side of the jetty, and you have the stripped side of the jetty. Now both can actually be really good, and this video is gonna be a case study of that. Uh, but these disrupt the water flow. These disrupt the waves, and it, it winds up getting crowded in one area and uh, less crowded in the other. Now, this is not a constant. You know, it depends on the direction of the wind. That's the direction that the water goes. But when the beach is low, if people didn't get the stuff that is like down on that very low layer, you're going to hit Bonanza over here. But the push-in is happening here. So, Anything that's out in the water, further out, if it's getting pushed, unless if it's under a lot of sand, you're gonna find it here. That sounds good right away, 73. When you run a beach, you have to be a good time manager. I started out really low, meaning close to the water, uh, because we were approaching low tide. When Might the tides come in, I, I wouldn't heard. have access to that area. You're a little iron in that. It sure is. Bottle cap. It's a bottle cap, but at least I don't have corona. I stand corrected. One of the things I look for is rocks on the surface. These are shells on the surface. Still looks good, but uh, I want to see some uh, heavies on the surface. All right, I got a good signal here, but uh, one of the things before we get to the signal, beach pee. I really like that program. It does not go as deep as beach sensitive, but when you are in the water, it does not get affected. I wonder if they called that beach pee like beach pulse. I suppose I could look that up, but um, this is good. This is ringing up as a 50. The Deus 2 is quite honestly a universe, more. and I'm going through the learning curve right now. Beach P, you really need to have the wire connected in order for this program to All right, be we fully got functional. It. Yep, unfortunately it is just some slaw, can slaw. Merrill, I thought you said that this was one of the best days that you've ever had as a metal detectorist. Why are you showing us a bottle cap and that light piece of aluminum? It means we gotta walk. Well, because that's a section of the beach that I'm getting nothing but really light stuff. That's not where I want to be. I'm back to my variation of beach sensitive. When I'm in the water, beach pee. Beach sensitive, man, you can get super deep, super deep stuff. Well, there you go. It's a earring back or a bead. Actually, this is a bead. Uh, this is as small as the Equinox pulls it. 
getting repeat without a number. Look at that. Oh snap, that could be the real thing. That could be the real thing. Heck yeah, there we go. There we go. We are on the board. I don't know about that stone. Hey man, nice ring. We got some possible gold here. I'm blind as a bat. We're gonna have to look really close at this, but if nothing else, uh, Taco Bell has been unlocked. It's got some weight to it. Um, I do not see an engraving, but that means nothing. That's a possible, no, that's not an engraving. I think with the stone, I'm guessing no, but you know what? Hey man, I'm happy. That's a good start. That sucker was deep too. Uh, that was a good 12 inches down. Um, yeah, rang up at a 56 after I got a little bit deeper. As much as I wanted to make this a, a gold trip, you know, it's got this nice stone here. I don't think that that would be uh, something that you see on a gold ring. You also see, uh, I was gonna say tarnishing. It's not really tarnishing, I think. Yeah, like in here, right in the middle there, that's gold plating right there. Yeah, this is a gold plated ring. In the absence of engravings. Yeah, there's no, the other thing is you'd see through it. Anytime that there's a real stone, you'd see through it. This is painted on, but still, it's a nice ring. I'm happy to have it. Flashed in the 70s. Let's see. Still down here. What I'm seeing is a really, really soft layer of the beach. Look at that. My foot just gave in where I was uh, digging. And that tells me that it was just newly, newly pushed in. So we got, we got some movement happening. All right, I'll be back when I get this. Now let me teach you something about beach pee. Did I just seriously say that in a sentence? I don't know if you dig that. You don't get as deep with beach pee. That really depends on how much beach pee you have. I tend to prefer to be hydrated. But uh, when you are in moving water, you really don't care about that. Hmm. I could switch that. Let's switch it back. The French are like giggling to themselves. They're like, oh, we made the detector. Beach pee. The Americans will be talking about beach pee. To this, let me try pulling first. You'll hear a clear signal. Hear the difference? So beach pee, you're giving up depth, but it's very workable in the moving water. Watch YouTube flag this video because I'm talking about beach pee so much. I'm pretty sure I got a phone here. And this is why you need the honey badger scoop. Go, go, go tug of war still there I'll be back when I get it all right I got it that is an old phone if it's a phone it's an easy pass oh my god this is how New Yorkers pay for bridges this goes in the uh, windshield this is my first easy pass that I ever pulled holy cow how about that I've been doing my V shapes up and down the beach and uh, all of this stuff is very close to the water. We have not had that blast back storm. We've had uh, miniature storms. I've seen some beach cuts, but they're closer to the beach uh, than uh, you know the high tide line. Right now we have a totally open beach and uh, you know the targets that I've gotten have all been very close to the shoreline. Got another target, but and it's 86, but despite the uh, the ring of the easy pass, everything was deep down the beach. And we could always come back to that. But I've seen patches that are 
on the surface that's what i'm after right now that was just a glorious piece of zinc all right starting to get signals we're a little bit further back on the beach these lifeguard stands they, they give you a good idea of if people were there or not i mean if you see the beach on a day that it's hot you, you know that already but if there's nothing around the lifeguard stands it means that somebody's hunted it or it hasn't come in yet but we'll be back when we get this it's a nickel about 12 inches down all right starting to get signals 85 so let's bring this back to the first point that I made about the jetties. There's the sanded side and there is the empty side. I actually went from the empty side, which it went deep. The first part of this video, that was the empty side. I'm moving towards the sandy side of the jetty, but I'm finding signals that are actually closer to the surface. Zinc. I see a huge slope over here, so we're gonna we're gonna hit that. I mean, at the bottom you barely can see over it. So let's see what happens here. If you are standing at the shoreline and you cannot see buildings or whatever over the top of the slope, oh, you go slow there. Here we go. Seventy-three, seventy-four. Oh yes, we did. Wow. Okay, this one is clearly silver. My dude, you blind. And just starting to get tarnished. Wow. Oh, you know what? This was silver plated. Look at this. Oh, man. Yeah, that's plating right there. Silver plated. But you know what? Cool ring. We're on two rings already. Okay. Taco Bell has been unlocked times two. Man, they make the rings so cheap these days. All right, let's take a close look at this one. What in the world? Yeah, this is like aluminum foil plated. <laughs> this is a poor excuse for a ring right here, but uh, Ring is a ring is a ring, I guess. Ring number two on the day. We've seen much nicer. Next signal. Uh, I heard the iron in this one. That's why I didn't show you. We got some bling. Deep 45. Okay, not deep, but small. We got a chain that I believe is silver. Yep, silver chain, there we go. Yeah, silver uh, silver chain, uh, haagen has been unlocked. All right, beach is waking up. This is just two steps away from uh, that silver chain. Signals in close proximity. I know that because with each one of these, I am spiraling so out. And as soon as I see that closeness to the Got signals, it. that's when I start the grid, okay? That's when I really, really go in there and grid. It's pointless to walk down a beach, you know, and grid, you know, without knowing that you're in a patch. It makes no sense it's to me. Button. Some people do it. I don't, I don't believe in that. Okay. You see some green. Maybe it's been there for a while. I was hoping for better, but oh well. Before the sea washes it away, that target right down there, that was where the chain was. Button was here. As you can see, walking straight down the beach, we have a line that's starting to form right here. So this midsection of the beach, uh, that's where we're going to be looking. It's a good thing I didn't stop my V-shapes because got an 80 uh, right here on the lower slope. It still somewhat lines up. Actually, yeah, it does line up. But uh, I'm walking right up to the top of the slope when I'm checking. When you see a coin or an object line starting, that's your guide 
but we you should still go is. outside of that. Go higher, go Sounds lower. Like See how it extends. That's very important. And zinking it is. I'm loving this. Low slope 62, probably a nickel, but you don't know till you dig. Now remember the first two signals that we pulled, they were mid-tones, they were, you know, low to mid-tones, and they turned out to be light. Now I'm in an area where I'm starting to get heavier stuff. Oh, these mid-tones are starting to excite me. It's a nickel. Right next to it, 66, 67, that's higher than a nickel. Oh my god, it's another one of these snaps. I got two of them. We'll call them buttons. Yeah, that gives us jello. 91 in the water. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. OMG, look at this one. Now, it came up as a 9192, but remember on the target ID, Bible that I did for this detector, there are some really weird gold signals. I've seen this ring before, and uh, I know that it is a, um, oh my God, what's the name of the store? Pandora. And it's probably gold-plated silver, but this is a nice one. Third ring on the day. It's summertime, folks. There we go. Yeah, I've pulled this ring before. So look at this one. That is in the same style as this one. And this is the one that I just pulled. But this should be gold plated. I mean, it rang up uh, gold plated silver. Uh, well, down there, you see, that's where the engraving is. I don't know what that says. There is an engraving, um, but a nice ring. You know, let's just keep it at that. Nice ring. This is even more towards the water than the ring. All right, we got it. What in the world? Um, that's probably a uh, light, um, vaping thingy. Oh, well. 81. Zinc. 93. Just like we always used to say, it's a quarter. And these are getting tougher and tougher to find these days. People don't swim with them anymore. Well, that's a dream signal. Solid 69, 70. Go, go, go. Oh my God, I see you. I see you. Yes, we did. That is spectacular right there. Okay. This one is a no doubter. I can feel the weight. And can I see the engraving? 14K. Looks like 14K. There we go. Ring number four on the day. We got our engraving here. I think it is written like European, like five, geez, what is that? But you got it cut open in the back and this is probably an opal, beautiful stone. This got all sorts of beaten up by the waves. This has been in the waves for a long time. You could still see the sand in there, but this is heavy, heavy gold right here. Uh, this is a no doubter. Um, I'm looking forward to polishing this up. Yeah, this is uh, 
This is a pretty epic find. I just met a new friend. We got Jack from Baldwin here. How are you? I, I'm gonna buy one of these badges. I just bought a brand new one, but knowing Merrill, I know this has to be a good product. Thanks, buddy. I truly and appreciate I that. Thank you, Merrill, for all the help you've given me. I haven't started for two years. I'm looking for you. I've been finding you nothing. I'm honored that you say that. Uh, I, I've honestly been, uh, I mean, it's really been this week that the beach is waking up. Before that, I've been skunked all summer, so. Uh, I've seen you in Florida. In Florida, oh my God, that was, <laughs> that was brutal. It was beautiful, but it was br uh, brutal, so. I think the kids had a good time, man. They, they had a great time, that's what it's about. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. You, you too, man, that was even better than the ring when, you know, it's like when you cook a good meal, um, you want people to enjoy it, you know. Okay. The, the fact that Jack enjoys my videos, that's, that's I awesome. Know, Thank you, my friend. With, oh, yeah. you got your hands full I with two scoops. <laughs> I know they're not, they're not phony. That's yep. Thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> this should be surface. Yep. Dimmy. 91 surface again. This is a true patch right here. Another dimmy. This is where I start gritting and really watching my sweep. You know you're in a patch. And you dig everything. Zinc one. All right, something deep. Let's dig. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. I just saw you. It's caught. It's caught. Oh, that's the real thing. Sushi. summertime yeah this has weight and there's the engraving right there oh holy cow what a day this has been one of my best days I've ever detected oh sushi has been unlocked yeah we are not done yet got an Italy engraving right here I think it said 10k it's a 10k ring not ring geez i got rings on my mind we're not done yet by the way um we got more good stuff to come but uh this was the first nice really nice chain that i pulled with the uh, dais we just found jeff as of right now jeff and i have the two nicest Beach scoops in the world, the only two existing honey badger scoops. Um, but uh, that will change very soon. You can pre order yours below. 79. Year after I was born. I see you. I just gave a lesson to those kids. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. I, I just got another ring, five. I'm just, they're like, what did you get? And I showed them, but they didn't stick around, man. Of course I turned it into a lesson, I'm a teacher. That's what we do, we talk. I told them all about how when you're in the water, rings, um, you know, your fingers shrink and shrivel uh, and get wrinkled. And uh, 
Yeah, rings fall off. I don't think they got that, but that's all right. We can reteach that, or maybe we can't. Maybe we just have uh, depositors of the future. You, ha you have to lose one in order to understand that. Whoa, and the tides are coming in. Oh boy. I, I certainly lost one. But let's go. What are these guys, the Junior Surf Club? Look at this. We got junior surfers here. They're like ducks, like walking into the water. They should teach adults how to do that. Adults should definitely learn that with jewelry. Yep, yep. Solid 56, go, go, go. After I find that again. Kind of calibrated really well today. Beach sensitive is in the, uh, working in the water. All right, I gotta move fast. All right, we got it. I almost lost it. A wave just hit it. Oh, I see you. Hey, hey, what's up, man? How are you? I saw somebody I knew and I got distracted and I turned the camera off. Uh, this was a piece of a rosary. So it's uh, plated, if anything, but still a pretty nice find. Just got this, whatever it is. All right, got another one of these. Weird signals. That's what a chain can sound like. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a day it continues. Holy crap. Yeah, that was an unclosed signal. I think we just got some more gold. Wow. The finds just kept going and going. This one I have as a question mark. This is probably plated because look at the condition of this in here. Gold doesn't really get like that. But you know what? It's got some weight. I might have to clean this up and see, but I'm pretty sure that this is not. Yeah, these are always handy. It's a can opener. Cool. All right, so we're at about the 30 minute mark, so we're gonna speed this up a little bit. Yunk. I do believe this is a bullet. You know, an interesting observation about today was that this is the filled side of the uh, jetty. What's that? I don't think that exists, my friend. He just threw off my thought. He asked me if I was trying to find Davy Jones treasure. Oh, here we go. We got another. Maybe it's Davy Jones treasure. Um, this is the filled side of the jetty. And more sanded. That's my point. So this is, uh, for those who like a low beach, and usually I do, this is uh, counterintuitive to that. But then again, if you think about it, more sand on one side means that more stuff has been pushing in. So that's my deep thought of the day. I'll, uh, I'll be back after I get this. It's probably a zinc. I underestimated this. I think we finally got it. OMG. So we got it. We got it. What is this? Oh. Uh. 
let's wash it off. Nothing much, but yeah, what is this? I don't know. I'll learn from you guys in the comments. <laughs> a little help is needed. Thank you. Oh, this was one of those rare, rare days that uh, you just have to really enjoy when you get them. Um, I'm going to head back to the car, meet up with Jeff. He had a good day, too. So let's uh, let's wrap this up. Okay, we're, we're getting our stuff yours, out. Brother. Yeah, well, no, you got it. Look, look at what Jeff got. Cartier. Cartier. Very, very bougie. Cartier. 18 carats, white Ooh. goat. Whoa, watch Ooh. out. That's heavy. Yeah, that's the real thing right there. Good stuff. Got the silver earring. Marked Ooh. 925 on the inside. 925. And a silver pendant, also silver marked 925. Pendant. A four-leaf clover. And a very cute turquoise junker. Turquoise. Little plated. But that's still... Oh, it is plated, I got Yeah, you. it's plated. All right, that's all right. You could stab somebody with it. Whoa! The birds. Yeah, the birds. Well, well, oh, well. Jesus, the birds have been... Ridiculous. They love you. They do love me. Now let's see what this man. Oh, this was a day. El man. Fuego de Janeiro guy. This was. This a is day. known as the day. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, that think, don't happen all the time. I think this guy, and I might have read it wrong, but it looks like it's marked 22 carat. Oh my God! I see the engraving. I see a clear engraving right here. We're counting on your vision, Jeff, or the zoom in of the camera. Well, you know what I was told? Yeah, that's though? a 22, dude. Yeah. I believe that's a 22. Um, that's insane. I've been told, like, compare this and this. So this one, when I first got it, I thought was real. But... No, you can tell by the weight. You can tell by the weight. Also, you know what I was told? You see how there's, like, no... You, you can't see the jewel in the back? Yes. That's... It, this one, you that's could see... That's indicative? Right, indicative. It's indicative of gold and quality. What did you call me? I'm sorry, Jeff. It just I gotta break <laughs> Did the you habit. Did you say it was indicative? You're you are indicative. <laughs> well, you, you got a really nice beach scoop, I gotta say. Oh, so do you. Yeah. Well, what, what brand is that? Well, well, it's the okay. Honey Badger scoop. Well, how'd you get that? Well, we we made it and th through Jeff. <laughs> yeah. So and this one, I can't tell what it is. Um. I, I know that this is gold. Feel like feel this. Oh, well, that's gold. Oh, gold. It says also uh, made in Italy. There you go. The Italians don't mess around, no, I know. No, no, no. And no, there's no, your no, mark no, no. right there. Yep. It's wow. I think it's uh, 575 or, yeah, that's that's your mark. Yep, this is gold. It was a great year, late Roman Empire. Yeah. Little silver chain, um, silver ring, plated silver ring. Who does that? This was not made in Italy. Possible gold here, but probably plated. Yeah, that's plated. Look at that. Yeah, it's plated. This Flat one, head. though. So this one is definitely gold. Yep. You can tell by the weight, too. Yeah, I'm going to weight lift with it. I am, too. And one. And two. Yeah. Oh, that this feels nice. This is junker. I wonder what the stone is on this. Uh, uh, maybe onyx? I used to like their wrap in the 90s. Me, too. Yeah. This is silver. Skill. Yeah, man. Ooh. This is yunk! <laughs> Deteriorating. This is Skilva. And this one is uh, probably gold-plated silver. This one rang up. This is real... Uh, uh, um, I, I, I've, I've pulled this before. I have a few of these. Um, that's a Pandora, and it's usually gold-plated silver. You opened up Pandora's box? I opened up Pandora's box. I did. And what did you see? I saw that ring. Oh, God. And, and duplicates. We'll have to pull the dupes up I would also. say that today, the day is yours. Uh, the, day is, the day is mine. It happens. Actually, I, I would say we both did fairly well. We did. But, but that, I love this one. This is... Sometimes the sun shines in the dog's ass. I, 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 <laughs> that is one of my favorite sayings. <laughs> Great minds curse alike. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this has got some weight. This is nice. It's a weightlifting ring. I like this. There's a number here. It's not a carrot, so I gotta I gotta decipher it. Slam! Dun dun it. Dun mm -hmm. dun it. Let the boys be boys. Let the boys be boys. Yeah. Very nice. This was a good day. We got the easy pass. We got all sorts of other stuff. Let's and just let's just thank let's thank this guy H -B -S. for all his BS Honey it Badger is, Scoop. And it's no. No BS. That's right. No B. Legit. 
that's the best beach scoop on the market. You want to get your that. target first attempt? Yep. Yep. There you go. HBS. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah come on. All right. So this is why we went into the scoop business. Give. No, we're not mentioning the company. No give whatsoever. No give. And where there's give, things break. Yes. Yep. Yes. 